Why do you think sound is so significant to film? I think it's a cinema experience to really get the whole thing because if you come to a cinema like this with surround sound and you can really sort of get yourself immersed in the experience and and I think the best films just take you into another world yeah and you the sound's got to be part of that do you think these advances in audio tech are helping audiences appreciate sound a lot more are they helping us understand the the audio process or is it still just a visual still for a lot of people no, it's just this visual process I think people you know expect a lot more and you know with the advent of Atmos you've got 360 degree sound you could position stuff a lot more around the room you've got low end in the rears. So, you know, you've got designated subs at the back, so it really does sort of like totally enwrap you now. There's not so much of those sort of like bad soundtracks out there. The standard's very, very high, I think. Now, people often think of film as a visual media, medium as opposed to an audio medium, but, you know, quick to point out radio with audio... Radio with pictures. Just remember, <laughs> it's radio with pictures. <laughs> but people are, you know, let's be fair, people are quite quick to point out when audio is bad rather than being good. Why do you think that is? Oh... You haven't got the time to really go through it. Let me think about that. Um, what, you, you know, what are you trying to do in a movie is to, from my point of view, certainly is certainly so you can hear all the dialogue. You've then got to add a lot of other stuff on top. Now, the problem is with that, you've got to get that right. You've actually got to get yeah. the mix right. It's not just a mix. There's also the feel of it, of how much music you want in certain places and how much effects you want. And it comes down to personal taste too, because let's face it, you can watch a movie and think, well, that's fantastic. Um, and I'll probably watch it in a totally different way to, to you yeah and and it comes down to personal choice in the end but hopefully we sell something at the end of it that you like for you what makes an effective film score or soundtrack and how important is it to get it right um it's something that sort of draws you into the story it doesn't take you out of it i don't subscribe to this view that you shouldn't notice the music but you should notice the music and feel that it's all part of the whole um, atmosphere and uh, part of the whole sound world. That's what I think a, a good film score should do. It sort of underlines the emotions without laying it on with a trowel. Music can express moods and what you see and same with effects, isn't it, with violence and certain, certain things you actually see. Um, it's a massive impact. You know, there's two things you see on that screen and, it, you know, uh, it's picture and sound. And sound just brings so much more to it. Sound in movies is a blind spot for many. And often audiences don't realise just how well, you know, sound enhances a storyline. Or do you think they just take it for granted? If somebody opens so. their mouth and, and they expect to hear the words, that's well, like the trouble. We, like we said earlier, I think audiences take sound for granted. If it's done well, no one says anything because it's part of the film, it's part of the immersive what, um, movie watching experience. No, yeah, but it also badly. doesn't come under art, does it? Per se. It doesn't come under art, you know, mm. it's not like a DOP who likes the set. That's the problem. I think one has to, edu a certain amount of education has to be taking place, really mm -hmm. has to take place for that. And um, I'm not, it's not going to change overnight, but we're always pushing. I think if you've done the right job, you know, you don't notice the sound. Do you know what I mean? People only notice the sound, it's like when you've got noisy dialogues, when they're cutting in and out, and that <laughs> noise just, you know, every time they talk, you hear that noise. But if that noise is consistent throughout, you buy it. Yeah. Because you really don't get drawn to it, you know? Um, that's about half the crux of it, really, you know? So are there some movies um, that you've seen in the cinema or at home with your surround sound set up and you thought, you're listening to the musical score or the sound effects and you think, I could have done a bit better or I, I, if, I think I would have <laughs> approached it from this angle. Does that, does that go through your mind? Well, sometimes, but I mean, usually, you, if it's a good film, you just got get wrapped up in the in the whole sort of atmosphere of it. And you, usually, I just feel very jealous. I think God, it's brilliant. <laughs> you know, yeah. I wish I'd thought of that. Uh, there's so much good stuff out there. Yeah, absolutely. You know, it's the, and it's so varied now. Anything goes. You know, people use all sorts of combinations of live instruments and electronics. And, you know, it's a very sort of interesting, innovative time to be making film music because there aren't any rules. Yeah. You can do what you like, really. And that's all hopefully going to help add to this whole awareness of how important sound is. In well, movies. I think so. People, people go away from a movie and they sometimes subconsciously they they what they're taking with them is the sound the music and the sound and it's it's all part of their memory of the of the film do you think sound 
gets enough recognition in the film industry no, at not. the moment? No, of course not. <laughs> what am I going to say to that? No, of course not. Why do you think that is? Uh, because we usually... Well, I don't sit in the back being quiet, but a lot of my <laughs> <laughs> colleagues probably behave themselves much better than I do and yeah. sit in the back and, uh, and, and mutter under their breath, breath about not getting it right but, or not getting what they need. Um, I jump up and down and scream a bit. But <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of awards now for mm-hmm. sound mixing and... Um, People are beginning to appreciate it, I think. It's still a very um, important area for innovation and Dolby is still doing things with this Dolby Atmos. It's going to be very exciting to see how that sort of, how that breaks through. Probably as sound gets better, mm-hmm. you know, people will... People start to appreciate it a bit more. Will appreciate it more and they, they'll start systems. to invest in sound systems. Mm-hmm. And, and also, you know, the, 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 the domestic equipment that you can buy is getting better all the time. I'm putting a new system in my house and I'm not got, I've not got this much and I want this much. As That's the trouble. Ask... It's going to make me incredibly I was going to ask you that. I'm sure it. a lot of people are interested. What kind of... Oh, don't, don't. What kind don't, of don't, setup don't, do you don't, have it comes out of a little speaker. No, no, I'm, <laughs> I'm only going 7-1, but I want these speakers above now too. Oh, yeah, I think, yeah. I think we all do. Really? <laughs>